Hi everyone, my name is Peter Pikalski. Today I would like to show you the final version of uh, the financial model of the tool that we've created to make you uh, able to uh, see the uh, clear picture of the revenues and expenses of your existing business. Uh, I will give you the link to download this uh, model in the description of this video. Also, I will give you uh, all links to the previous videos uh, that we, when we created this model step by step. Uh, today, uh, I just uh, want to show you uh, the imaginary example of a company um, that you can um, use this table with. So uh, I will just fill this table, fill this model with data, imaginary data, and you can see how this table can help you with uh, analyzing your business. So for example, um, I have some imaginary business and I have some companies that uh, form my revenue. I have some companies that form my expenses and I have um, uh, four, tip, uh, four types of revenues. Some of these companies um, come to me from YouTube, some of them come to me from Google AdWords, some of them uh, just have some offline stores and this, um, the revenue from this company uh, comes uh, to me from offline. Uh, some of these customers are just loyal customers and uh, all these companies um, they can uh, these expenses can be office expenses advertising some of them for example are lawyers and i um, pay them for legal uh, services some of them uh, i pay them for example it is a payroll expenses so uh, these are my expenses companies these are my revenues companies so what i'm doing I just uh, take these companies, uh, copy, um, then I paste it here, uh, then I go to this list, copy, paste it here, then I take this data, copy, so now I will go to result, here we have, have two tables. One of them is detailed by companies and the second one is detailed by revenue and expenses types. Um, I will just uh, go and hide the lines that I don't need. So now we'll go to transaction list and um, now I have to assign uh, the markers for all our revenues companies and all our expenses companies. Um, so what I will do, for example this company, um, this company mm, gives me the revenue from YouTube for example, this company will give me the revenue from Google Ads. These companies give me the revenue offline.
and these guys are loyal customers I just want to see the revenue this way then uh, I will go to the companies that um, for my expenses and say that and decide th this is the office expenses this is also office expenses then this is advertising so this is legal and all the others guys are for example payroll let's assume that um, now we just um, assume that we will start our operating team activity from for example November 2021 so this will be the starting point um, then I just hide this information this is the library so what I will do now we'll just uh, view then um, freeze like this so this is our this is our transaction list and now we'll just uh, specify all transactions so in this column I just uh, type the name of this of that transaction uh, so here we'll just set up the amount of transaction set up whether it is a revenue or expense for example it will be the revenue it will be uh, November 2021 the company it will be just for example the Walmart it doesn't really matter then we can see that it is the revenue that usually comes from YouTube and we can go to our result here we can see this revenue that comes from youtube this is revenue detailed by types this is the revenue detailed by uh, companies so uh, for example i just type another transaction it is also a revenue it is also for example november 2021 it is also for example a Walmart uh, then we can go to result so now we can see um, then for example I just uh, create some expense transaction it is an expense it is also for example November 2021 because it is expense we see that another column is highlighted then I go to the list of expenses and uh, let's assume that for example it is Verizon Verizon it's my office expenses then I go to results and see that uh, now we can see that Verizon communications we can see, we can see two thousand uh, dollars it is office expenses and they fall into office expenses and now we just can uh, specify lots and lots and lots of transactions that uh, your business uh, has uh, each month um, I will just specify uh, several transactions and uh, then we will just um, um, go back and see how we can analyze uh, the results of all transactions that we made so now we have created the list of transactions of so revenues expenses transactions and so on we specified the amount of uh, each transaction whether it is a revenue or expense uh, when we have this transaction uh, what company uh, this transaction goes to and or goes from um, 
if it is the, the revenue, if it is the expense. Uh, and now we just go to result um, area and here we can see uh, the structure of the revenues uh, by companies in November and December 2021. Here, uh, here is the structure of revenues. Here is the structure of expenses by companies. Here is uh, the profit, here is the profitability, here is the same structure but detailed by uh, revenue types uh, and expenses types. So here you can see that um, the figures are the same. This is the expense figures. These are the revenue figures. And we can see the, uh, the structure of all our business uh, revenues, all our business expenses. And usually uh, when entrepreneurs see this structure, they just want to play with numbers. What will be if the revenue will go up and or go down of uh, inside this or that company? Uh, what will be um, the profit? What will be the profitability? And now it's time for us to play with a list of the library of coefficients that we've uh, earlier created. So what we can do, uh, we just um, unfreeze uh, our transaction list. Um, then we go back to uh, our um, library. Uh, here we have our coefficients. Uh, this is the coefficients for the companies that form our revenues. This is the coefficients uh, to our companies that form our expenses. And uh, for example, we look at um, the revenues and see uh, what if, uh, for example, um, if we a switch of the revenue of uh, Walmart, what will be the profit and profitability of our business. So we just go to uh, our library, uh, we go to Walmart and we just um, switch it off. Then we go back and see how um, um, our profit and loss statement uh, changes. Uh, for example, we can uh, switch it on, but say, for example, if the revenue will decrease and will be, for example, 20% of what we have today. So we don't completely switch it off, we just uh, assume that what will be if uh, the revenue, for example, uh, go up like this, for example. So, for example, if we want to gain some profit like this, what should be the revenues, for example, from this or that company? So we can play with coefficients without uh, playing with the inputs inside our transactions. The same story we can play with um, uh, coefficients for any company that form our expenses. Uh, but this um, uh, system of coefficients is applied to the whole timeline. For example, if we want to play specifically um, for the Walmart in uh, December 2021. For example, we go to um, um, to the revenues. We go to December 20, 2021 and then we switch off uh, the revenues of Walmart uh, specifically in, uh, in this month. Or uh, we, can, we can switch it on, but assume, for example, that the revenue will be, for example, just 10% of uh, what we have today. Mm -hmm. 
so we can play um, we have a, a variety range of um, uh, coefficient that deals with expenses we can uh, switch each month uh, each company each type uh, of revenue each type of expense so we can play with coefficients as we want so these coefficients these coefficients just a moment uh, these coefficients uh, are for the whole timeline this is for the companies these coefficients for types of revenues and types of expenses this system of coefficients for specific month for specific company that forms our revenues And then we have specific uh, tables for coefficients for revenue types for a specific month, for a specific revenue type, and the same story for expense type. So these are different expense type inside our business. We can switch them off inside specific month. Uh, so we can play with all our transactions without adjusting, um, without uh, changing uh, these transactions. So the first time you just specify all your transactions, then you go to result see the result and then you, you just can uh, play with the coefficients to see if you want to gain this or that profit what should the revenue uh, be from this or that company what should the revenue from this or that expense or revenue type uh, will be to gain to gain this or that uh, profit and you can um, analyze whether it is real or not so uh, this uh, tool can give you a really clear picture of your existing business uh, so I hope that uh, this tool that I've created for you was uh, useful for you. You may download this um, tool. I will give you the link and this in the description of this video. I will give you also all links uh, to the uh, videos um, when I created this tool step by step. So if this inf all this information uh, was valuable for you, you may give us a like, subscribe our channel. Also, you can uh, share this video with your friends. Uh, you can order a financial model for your existing business idea or your future business idea from scratch. Uh, we will do this for you. So, see you next videos. Uh, thank you for watching and bye.